हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज पुस्तक वर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग पुस्तक वर्मा एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गना डिस्कस अबाउट एन एसे इट्स ऑन लाइब्रेरीज बाय ओलिवर स्टैक्स फ्रॉम ग्रेट ट्वेल्व कंपलसरी इंग्लिश न्यू कोर्स सेक्शन टू लिटरेचर द एसे इज अबाउट traditional libraries and modern libraries in traditional libraries we used to sit on the chairs and read several sorts of books such as poems stories course materials and reference materials but these modern libraries are occupied with computers internet facilities so before reading this chapter on libraries by oliver sacks we have to know about this the questions mentioned in our textbooks question a why do people visit the library manchiru kina library visit garchan so there are several reasons for visiting library people visit the libraries to read books to enhance a greater vocabulary vocabulary is badauna ko lagi to benefit from the amazing programs at library to borrow books online to develop sense of socialization as social interactions to have access of countless books videos and other materials for free and many more question b have you ever borrowed books from the library if s yes, what kind of books do you like to read timle kaile library bata book layaeka chau layaeka chau bhane kasto khalko books layaeka chau the answer is s yes, i have borrowed the books from the library several times and i usually borrow um, course books reference books from the library i prefer to read english novels as i get leisure times and this one is like oliver sacks then about the authors oliver sacks about the author dr oliver sacks was a physician best selling author and professor of neurology he was born in 1933 in london and received his medical degree from the queens college oxford in 1960s the new york times referred him as a, the poet of literary of medicine when he was given the respect or the sort of honors for the for his medicinal works and he received many awards including honors from the guggenheim foundation the national science foundation american academy of arts letters and royal college of physicians on libraries is written in praise of intellectual freedom to free at work praise the intellectuals and their task community works and the ecstasy of serendipity uh, serendipitous means discovered by chance as the people are sitting in the library reading books they discover something by chance among the titans of mind and spirit saved by the saved and saved by the libraries were the great neurologist authors and boracius one who wanting more is readers then about the glossaries fantasy imagination morocco's a fine soft material used for making covers of the books curl up to form or make something form into a curl or curls is absorbed with one's intentions fully held astronomy the scientific study of the sun moon stars hunger for to have a strong desire for something devoured to eat something completely and quickly stumbled upon to find something improvisation improvisation means music a party in a play in canabula early printed books magni lokens use of high prone language lapidary legend and practice and catacombs a series of underground tunnels in caves a small territory belonging to one state or group of people surrounded by that of another poky small are cramped aloft our head stacks piles or heaps of something camaraderie friendship or trust rumaging to turn things over and especially make them untidy while searching for something held to lift or carry so these are the vocabulary are glossary terms then is oliver sacks sitting in, in his library and reading books the essay oliver on libraries summaries oliver sex on library a short and personal essay found in a bitter sweet post must collection that means this 
कलेक्शन ऑफ बुक्स और एसेज वाज पब्लिश्ड आफ्टर हिज डेथ उनको मृत्यु को पश्चात पब्लिश भएको हामीले के गर्छम कलेक्शन्स लाई पोस्टुमस कलेक्शन्स भन्छम एभ्रीथिंग इन इट्स प्लेस द नेम अफ द कलेक्शन्स इज फर्स्ट लव्स एन्ड लास्ट टेल्स when he recalls his childhood in england especially his most lovable favorable and dearest place library and his students life under these essays collections he basically deals with these things is his most lovable favorable and dearest place library and his students life in his childhood his favorite room was his father's library with all four walls covered by bookcases ibsen's plays henry ibsen's a norwegian playwright his father's favorite books and his three older brothers adventure and history books and his mother's literature books dickinson's trollope and thackeray bernard shaw's plays an entire set of kipling's shakespeare's works milton's works and many more with my mother's school prizes in his Father's libraries. There were several corners. Is in every corner she found everyone's books. His father's favorite books, his mother's favorite books, his brother's adventure books. Is they were kept in the order. Medical books were kept in a special locked cabinet. As per to him, this oak paneled library was the quietest and most beautiful room in his house. He considered this library. as the most quietest and most beautiful room in his house he had a little lab as well where he would pass immense time forgetting his lunch and dinner whenever his family member used to search him for the dinner he was found in such a lab this library and books was his first and foremost childhood memories Williston Public Library a public library situated in Williston Green London United Kingdom is another place where he spent many of his happiest hours of his growing up years where he acquired his real education in his life he acquired he got his real education in Williston Green is Williston Public Library which was located in the Williston Green London United Kingdom it is is another significant place where he used to pass his most of his time it was just a 5 minute walk from his house not so far is and he acquired his formal education there where he disliked the education and his restrictive method of instructions for of forwarding informations as it made him passive in learning he didn't prefer classroom learning and teachers lectures he wanted the education complete freely therefore he preferred to study in the in the library he was a good learner in libraries but not so in the classroom classroom ko uni ramro thiena tara library ma ramro tarika le padne garthe as he grew old he became biased towards the sciences especially astronomy and chemistry particularly at saint paul's school as it could not provide all the science books he was hungered for unlai demand bhayeko unlai chaiyeko books haru library pani dina sakireko thiena therefore he was biased towards the science especially astronomy and chemistry he learned about many science books especially chemistry at the science museum by the help of his school teachers even his school teacher helped him to get the chemistry books from the science museum When he was at the university he visited Oxford two great libraries the first one Redcliffe Science Library and the second one Bodleian Library he was fascinated by Hooke and his operas that he decided to write a biography or case study of him by gathering information from the British Museum Library as he was at university he was fascinated by the Hooke the author is and his operas therefore he decided to write a biography on him Archie history on him, and he gathered the informations as well about him. The most loved library at Oxford was at the Queen's College, designed by Christopher Wren, and beneath this, and in an underground maze of heating pipes and cells were built to hold the library. Banu na kula ke library the library stand rakna kula ke yah pipes sir bani, cells sir bani thiye. He went to New York City's 
in 1965 and lived in a small apartment where there was no surfaces to read or write on. There they read Hamadu Tiena. Yes, Sanu apartment ma bus negarthi. Worked as a library of Albert Einstein College of Medicine. Hari got enough space to read and write. Jun thulo thiyo that neha thau pani dere unle paaye. He met there a man who was searching the same old books and the volumes of brain. He visited several other libraries and obtained bundle of knowledge once in his visit to library he was horrified to see it is sparsely occupied by the people which was once overflowing. Jaba uni ek patak ki uncha euta library ma janchan jaha ki paunchan first traditionally it was full with people says dherai manche le bhariyeko unthyo tara unle ke paunchan both rare manche library ma basireko unchan and by looking that he was horrified is Sparsely, when you go come at Rama Mansur, they are possible that you which once was overflowing. Jun Poyla Kun to Mansur the body Kun. We found a murder, a crime had been committed with the destruction of knowledge due to the advancement of ICT. The only key mountain ICT, the digital periodicals, Lake Garekas and Mansikuzo, Yuta, a relation to your books and other textbooks or the song of libraries and other like Garekos, a murder Gareko only mountain. He remembered the, his past days of reading old books and cherished much. And he becomes very much happy. He found a book, Edward Living's Magrims, which inspired him to write his first book. Edward Living's Magrims books, it helps him, it inspired him to write his first book. It inspired him to write his first book. He visited several sorts of library in his lifetime, just the Willis Dren Public Library, London, Redcliffe. Science Library, Oxford, Queen's Library, S College Library, and Berlin Library, Oxford, British Library, and Library of Albert Einstein in College of Medicine. So these were the several libraries visited by the authors of the sex in his lifetime, in his school or college, even in university's time. Then about the questions, understanding the text, answer the following questions. Questions A. Where could the author be found when he was late for lunch or dinner? The only lunch or dinner ko lagi dilo unthi ho, unhi kaha paune, unlay kaha paune garin thi is. The author could be found at his father's library, a large oak paneled room with all four walls covered by bookcases when he was late for the lunch or dinner. What are his first memories? Question B, what are his first memories? The answer is his father's large oak paneled library, his little labs, bookcases and calling upon the chair for books are his first memories. Why did he dislike the school? He disliked the school because he had to sit in the class and receive instructions of the teachers passively but in fact he wished to be active and free in learning by himself which he found in library. Question D. What did he feel about at the library? He was very much fascinated at the library. It was his favorite place, which was full of nearly 10,000 books, where he felt free to roam and enjoy the special atmosphere and the quiet companionship of other readers, the place of his quiet fulfillment. Question E. Why was he so biased about science, especially astronomy and chemistry? He was so biased about sciences, especially astronomy and chemistry, as he got older because at St. Paul's school he found an excellent general library which was particularly heavy in history and politics, but it could not provide all the sciences, especially chemistry books he hungered for. Why did he become so fascinated by Hooks? He became so fascinated by the uh, Theodore Hooks, a man greatly admired in the early 19th century for his wit and genius for theatrical and musical improvisation. Sudharis, and he was said to have composed more than 500 operas on the spot. He was so fascinated by Hooks that he decided to write a sort of biographies or case study on him. Then question G, describe the library at the Queen's College. The Queen's College library is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful buildings in the Oxford. Oxford is a beautiful building. It also remains the thriving centers of college academies. This college is a scholar. It was the author's most favorite place. 
The magnificent library building was designed by the Christopher Renly. यो बिल्डिंग लाई के गरे थे, डिजाइन्स करे का थी. And underground mass of heating pipes and shelves were used to hold the library. It is a constituent college of the University of Oxford, London. Why did he, why did the students ignore the bookshelves in 1990s? पौषी तेरा स्टूडेंट्स वाले बुकसेल्स की ना इग्नोर करना शुरू करें। The students ignores the bookshelf in 1990s because the people started using electronic gadgets and computers for the academic uses of and electronic books in place of library due to advance of science and technology. Students वाले की गरे था 1990s तेरा बुकसेल्फ शुरू यूज़ करना कम गरे due to the advance in means of science and technology. ICTS why was he horrified when he visited library a couple of months ago? जब उन्हें library a couple of months ago visit करी कि ना उन्हें तर्शिया ले। He was horrified when he horrified when he visited the library a couple of months ago because he found the shelves which were once overflowing. पहला त्यां months ये दुको पूरा भीड़ उन्हें थे बस रे किताब पढ़ी रे कौन थे especially occupied और ये त्यां बहुत थोड़े months ये दुको बस रे कौन सं most of the books were thrown out there is किताब अधु फाली सके का थी few which were worthy digitalized जो थोड़े थे तीन लाय digital बनाए सके को थियो he felt as if a murder or crime had been committed by erasing the centuries of knowledge उन्हें तो ये रे एकदम ही क्यों सा दुख लग सा then a reference to the context the author says i was not a good people but i was a good listener justify it with the textual evidences i was not a good not a good people but i was a good listener in the essay on libraries the author says i am not a good people but i was a good listener by this he means to state that he was not interested in sitting in the classes receiving instructions passively from the teachers which he used to pass from one year to another. He dislikes completing assignment provided by the teachers on time. By this, he means to say that he was not a good people, rather he states that he was a good listener, means he wanted to gain knowledge by his free wish of any sorts of without any sorts of restrictions. By this, he means to say that he was a good learner, as he was interested in learning by doing himself and for himself what he wanted to learn, which suited him best. He wished to study the books of his choice, which he found in the library and peaceful environment. Thus, he opens that he was not a good student, but a good listener. Nothing is pleasanter to me than exploring a library. Walter Savage Landover. Only your opinion is that you can explore the library and explore the library. You can explore the library and explore the library and explore the library. This quotation also has some sort of relation with this essay on libraries. Question B. A proverb says, Nothing is pleasanter than exploring a library. Does this prove? A proverb says, Nothing is pleasanter than exploring a library. Does this proverb apply in this essay? The beautiful, the answer is this, the beautiful proverb, nothing is pleasanter than exploring a library by Walter Savage Landor, an English writer and poet, states that yes, the interest and happiness, freedom in learning achieved in the free and peaceful atmosphere of the library. According to him, uh, readers can have interest, happiness and freedom in learning in the free and peaceful atmosphere of the library. It also projects the significance of library. It's like the library ko importance the significance the council and studious peoples. The proverb is applicable to this essay as the author is studious and loves to visit library and he regards library as his favorite and best place. It is said that library is a gateway to future. Future and though obtain Garni Gateway, it opens a new world for those who are interested in interested who are interested in reading. This is interested. Who are interested in reading books by opening the door to knowledge. It offers free educational resources to everyone. The prime purpose of a library is to provide access to knowledge and information and helps the students to develop good reading and study habits. For the author, it is the most lovable, dearest, chosen and favorable place. And therefore, we can say that nothing is pleasanter than exploring a library. This proverb is applicable in this essay. Question C. Are there any other services that you would like to see added 
in the like, added to the library. Key library ma aru services book ra journals bahek aru key services aru add karona saan so. The term library brings a scenario of a place where many books and magazines are kept in the bookshelves and people are reading books residing on the chair adjusted with the table. And this is the common concept of library. In library, we find mostly kyunsa books man sedu table usma kursi ma basera adjusted with table tiniyaru padi rahe kaunsan. As per to this passes, as per to the past of the time, library also needs changing its trend and facilities. In my opinion, it should include not only books and magazines, but also periodicals, newspapers, manuscripts, films, maps, prints, documents, microphone, CDs, cassettes, video tapes, DVDs, Blu-rays, discs, e-books, audio books, databases, table games, video games, and other format. Besides, it should provide the access of ICT materials which helps people of various fields to accomplish their research works and desired things of their own choice. Library like traditionally there should be many more facilities which I have mentioned here yes? and it should be uh, it should also provide the access of ICTs as well. It should also include the braille materials for the blind people. Blind people are like braille materials. Thus, the library should be complete in all aspects, providing required resources and materials to the people related to any field. Then, question next one reference beyond the text. Write an essay on libraries and its uses for the students. Library is use students like a library is a place where books are stored. It is a storehouse of books. It develops the important habit of reading among the students. Every school should have a library. The school library plays a greater role in the life of the students by serving as the storehouse of the knowledge. The collection of library can include books, manuscripts, magazines, periodicals, videos, audios, DVDs, and various other formats. Use of school library for the students. School library support students by providing providing various sorts of materials, encouraging them to read and enhancing the skills of the students. Students can get access of wide range of books and resources, essential materials for uh, uh, to for reference, knowledge, learning, and entertainment. In the same way, school library can encourage students for independent learning. Explore the knowledge of their interests. Libraries are essential for the educational as well as personal development. It assists teachers in research and supports the students in their studies. Libraries encourage fiction reading. Libraries is an appropriate place for the student to study and research without any disturbance. Books are books can be borrowed for further reading to get in-depth knowledge on subjects of interest. Students can take reference books from the and resources to complete their school project assignments to make the notes learning for preparing for the exams. Thus, library cultivates readings, habits, and promote progress of knowledge. It is a perfect place to indulge in the pleasure of reading and researching. The purpose of school library is to support students in learning processes. Then the last question is. Do you have any public library in your locality? Ketimdo area ma kune public library If so, do then the people in the community use it? Ke ela use girls and give a couple of examples. Yes, we do have a public library in my locality and it's Mahendra Pustakale, located near Tirbon Chok, Nepal. It is a well set up library. It is a very big library on the ground floor of the buildings that consist of several book stands and cabinets. Books are precisely arranged in alphabetical order in those book stands and cabinets. The librarian is very helpful in locating and selecting books as per to the people's needs. The books, lovers, students, teachers, researchers, politicians, and others of the area visit there and enjoy reading books of their own choice in such peaceful environment. Thank you, Unsai students, teachers, researchers, politicians, books, books. I like this library very much. I love spending time reading books sitting in the uh, reading rooms it is so quiet that one can read really enjoy reading and also study the peacefully 
learn a lot of great things from the world. The library undoubtedly has been doing a wonderful service to the books lovers in the community during the past several years. And this is the figure of the Mahendra Pustakala, it's located near Rani Talao, Tirvan Chok, Nepal Gans. So okay, this is about the essay on libraries. If you find these videos helpful and interesting, like, share and subscribe these videos. Click on the bell icon to get the notification from upcoming videos. If you have any queries regarding this chapter or any others, as well, mention below in the comment sections. Thank you everybody. Goodbye. Have a good day.